Student Council President, can you confirm that I calibrated all of these cups? Okay. They have balloons. They need to blow up the balloon. And using the air from the balloon, they need to knock all of their cups over.
in person can do pie the most. Get down here.
you have to be able to walk. I can only do the body bridge. Do you need me to demonstrate? Yeah. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah. Um, the next language 
Sveneš, un eu dos tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Yeah! Un, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. Um, uh, Chinese. E er son sin wu lo ti batio sh. Uh, Korean. Hana tu sed ne taso yo so oligo yo ho ba hab yo. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then Spanish. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. And then French. Un, deux, trois, quatre, cinq, six, sept, huit, neuf, dix. And then um, Japanese. Ich ni san shi go roku si ji ha ji ku. Jiu jiu. Wait, did I go further? Okay, cheers. No, you're good. The other Korean um like number system, there's two. Um in e sam sao o yu chi pai gushi. English one two three four five six seven eight nine ten French one two three four five six seven eight nine ten Kirun of my native language what Thank you. 
human challenge. Uh, again, I can't do this one. Um, whichever team can either have the more people to do this or the more one person can do it. I'm thinking, can anybody do five one-handed push-ups? Yeah, I can do two hands. This is superhuman. Did I say clapping push-ups? I said one-handed push-ups.
My outfit is titled Hot and Cold. My legs are hot and my feet are cold, hence the short dress and the hoodie. Our second model is Victoria, uh, I mean Santa Claus, wearing a hat and a beard designed by Rachel. Santa Claus is, oh, ho, 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 Merry Christmas. Santa Claus is followed by his young flame, the Queen of the North, Rachel. Oh. Rachel is wearing a cape and a tube top designed by Victoria. I mean Santa. Oh. Our fourth model is Ellington, dressed by Sophia. Her, her dress is called the Snow Cow Dress. Now we have Sarah wearing a floor length gown bedazzled in ruffles. Her dress is called the Winter Ball Gown and was designed by Kaylee. Lastly, we have Sydney McMillan with her designer Zara wearing a gown with floor length sleeves and her fit is titled the Snow Angel. Yeah. Well, I kind of need to 
challenge. Yeah. All right. So um, as they're doing this, what I'm going to need, and I'm going to need my team leaders to help me with this, I need one person from every grade except uh, sixth graders. What team are you on? All right. Um, blue team, I need two seventh graders. Okay? Uh, and while, oh, I'm not doing it. Your team leaders are doing this. And while we're doing this, I feel like we need a cheer. No. Yeah. Not one of those cheers. Who might cheer? Who might cheer? Yeah, good, Gloria. Start it. Huh. Why do you know? Aren't you guys the same grade? Oh, you look like me. Yeah. I can't people. Oh, you can. Oh, you look so great. Can I eat that?
team does one, um, but we're just doing it together, and it's Aww. fun. should have stayed in the 1300s. Now, we all love keeping up with the Kardashians, but have you ever tried keeping up with Senora on her way to lunch? That woman is pretty speedy. So, the Now You See Her, Now You Don't Award goes to Senora. Some teachers are worth a thousand words, so... The most likely to have a brother named Post Malone, and the most likely to be Post Malone, and the next women's shampoo model, and the largest collection of short sleeve button downs that don't match any of his ties. <laughs> Mount Everest faster than he'll grade your test award. <laughs> Mr. Zano! Have you ever been mistaken for a country? Either you're in Mrs. Cuba's BC Calc class, or you're Mr. Honduras. I mean, Mr. Honduras. Our country or person award goes to Mr. Honduras. To make that of course, he's actually Cuban. <laughs> now we'd like to invite a special guest to our stage to present this next award. Our senior class president, Princess Toby McKinley. <laughs> Our class doesn't show up to anything. <laughs> so you should be glad we're here right now. But the least likely to show up to class meeting award goes to Mrs. Simonetti. Are you here right now? Have you ever seen someone who seems too happy to be alive? They laugh at jokes that aren't even funny and smile all of the time for no reason. Yep. The Too Happy to Be Here Award goes to Miss Parmakian. Oh, I remember the first time a teacher threatened to shave off my eyebrows for fixing their college mistakes. Remember that glorious time when she made a middle schooler cry? Ah, good memories. She should have been fired long ago, but we're glad she wasn't. Our final award of the afternoon, the Lucky to Still Be Here Award, goes to Ms. Oxenberg. Now, if you feel roasted like a Thanksgiving turkey, then our job here is done. Thank you for watching.
watching our Senior Choice Awards, and we'll be right back after a brief message from our sponsors. Have you ever gotten your finger stuck to a binder clip and not know what to do?
school. You know, we own some senior things. We'll be gone in a blink, like Coach Copley left the soccer team. Cross country style. Have the entire crowds going wild. Dropping mixtapes every day, senior season on its way. I'll need a university to teach me how to stack my paper. If I ain't doing it now, then you'll catch me doing it later. Got an 80 on my math test, even though I should have failed. You see that shining? That's my glow. My best friend got into Yale. I wrote a little poem just for Linden Hall. I'm going to share it with you now. It will surpass them all. Linden Hall is fun. Linden Hall is cool. I'm exaggerating, but Linden Hall is a school. <laughs> Apparently, there's a handbook, which I admit I've never read. It's not that I can't read. I just don't care what it says. <laughs> Complaining a lot is what we do best. We're better at complaining than we are at acing tests. We're super good at sports. Heta is our hero. We use her to distract from when soccer lost districts 14-0. <laughs> we have to wear kilts. We look like Scottish men. We sell our dogs. It's for the best. Hopefully, we'll get into Penn. The seniors are going to miss all of you, so here's a message from our class. Everyone who's gone before us, we promise to surpass. Y'all finna catch us succeeding. It's what we do best. It's been great, Linden Hall, but thank you. Next. <laughs> something. Senioritis came in like a wrecking ball, and I'm not talking about Miley. Here we see a wild pack of seniors prowling down the hall on their way to class. As you can see, the very strict uniform is not being violated in the slightest. And look at the time, it's 8.45, you're late for class! <laughs> Continuing on, it's lunchtime, and the seniors cannot wait to skip off campus hand in hand. Next year, they'll be faced with the freshman 15, but this year, they took on the senior 16. Now, that's what I call today. Luckily, they all work out, except Emma. Underclassmen, I mean, Netflix does not burn calories. Now, I'm sure you heard the senior chatter about how annoying it is to write college applications. I don't even know who I am. Listen to me, I'm breaking out in the wrong accent. <laughs> Luckily, <laughs> here's a behind the scenes sneak peek at the process. <laughs> Now it's time to cram, because teachers want fives on the AP exam. We're okay with threes. I'm okay with the one. <laughs> uh, I don't know where all that noise came from, but anyways, let's watch our seniors intently study for the AP exams. <laughs> Senioritis. Don't worry, there's a cure for that. It's called graduation, and it will be administered in May. We'll check in on them periodically until then, but for now, it's best to let them sleep. <laughs> and that's all for this year's update. We'll see you in May. the scores for blue and white week. Without hula hoop competition, white team won more of the activities. Yay!